So I lost all the footage from yesterday for my regular weekly YouTube thing. Working in the pub tonight and of course everything is acting up as well. We started out and our monitors were working and then Darren broke a string and then my little machine that uh, does my reverb and sound and everything else broke up so it's not working either. So, whoops, sorry now, but we're doing the set anyway. Powering on. So hello everybody, how's it going? So back after yesterday's mess up, I think all the cameras are working. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to make a template for Logic Pro X. So every time you start writing a song, you've got the basics there ready for you to just go. Quick couple of things, as I keep saying, about 70% of the people that actually come to the channel are not subscribed, so please subscribe down below, it really helped me out, and hit the bell too. The other thing is that this week, I'm giving away a Now's the Time t-shirt. If you guys want one of these, I'll mail it to you anywhere in the world, just leave a comment down below, I'll use a randomizer to pick who gets to get that now. Hopefully all these cameras are working, so I want to see how much fun this is. Anyway, so I want to show you now where I start when I write a song. First of all, I open Logic Pro. Up under File, I go New from Template, right? These are two templates that, I, that I've made for the purposes of either mastering or for writing songs. So for my writing stuff, this is what I use. So I click that and I go Choose. There we are, right in a blank template for me to use. So how I have it set up, you can see that over right over here. So I go drums, bass, guitar, the main vox, backup vox, and then I have three different types of pianos. An electric piano, a felt piano from Spitfire, and uh, the Bosendorfer piano, which is straight out of Logic, one of the Logic sounds, great sounding piano. Then I have four strings, so I can do stereo strings. I've got two woodwinds, four brass, and then an effects channel. On the effects channel, what I normally do is have any sounds or in the Vegas one, there was cicadas and the sounds of the actual Vegas desert were on there. So I had them in the effects channel. The last truck stop had alien jerky. And then from there, I've got three reverbs. Basically, those reverbs are the ones when you open up a new software instrument. And I also have a large room, and the echo which I have here is a Valhalla echo, which is great. The next six of these are for parallel compression, or parallel reverbs even, or EQs, or whatever else you want to put on them. This is what I use them for. Drum bus, I've got a bass bus, I've got a vox, a backup vox, a keyboard bus, and a string bus. Everything on my template is being sent to bus 256, which I call my mix bus, which is where I put all my stereo bus effects on. That's my mix bus, which is the next one. The next is my stereo out, which is my actual stereo out. So that's how I have my template set up for there. Move it over further. I also have VCAs for grouping. So for instance, if I do something like this here, for mixing, I use the VCAs. Exactly like that. I have the master VCA, drums and percussion come into one, and the VCA is basically like a group. It's kind of a hangover from using on the old SSL boards where you'd have the VCAs down the middle. This is how I do it. All your drums and percussion coming in, your bass, all your guitars, vox, backup vox, piano, strings, and brass. All these subs come from the VCAs which are marked above the channels here. Drums at the beginning to bass, all set up with VCAs which send them to these eight at the bottom. And that's basically so I can start mixing straight away. As I'm writing, I always write into my mix bus. Compressor on first. Now the other thing that I tend to do is to have a limiter on the end, the master out being at minus one dB, and then I would go loud master minus six dB output. Something like that. If you don't have the Brainworks, go to the Dynamics Logic Stereo Limiter, make my output level at approximately minus one dB, and then just leave it on there. Everything that I write from now on goes through whatever processing I want, for instance, in the separate buses, drum bus, bass bus, and so on, and then into the mix bus, which always has a compressor and a limiter on it, then going to my stereo out, which I use 
only with a thing called a span, which is just to show what levels are coming out. It's like a spectrum analyzer. It shows you what is coming out the stereo out, just to make sure that I don't have a ridiculous amount of 20 hertz, for instance. I have two mastering programs. I leave them off until I'm finished with the mix. But I have the Brainworks Master Desk. I tend to use first, unless the, the song calls for uh, the other mastering program I have, which is the Abbey Road Mastering Chain. Mostly acoustic instruments and lots of vocals. I'll put it through this mastering chain instead. Those I don't turn on until the actual song would be finished. We'll start and we'll go straight through how I have this set up. Whenever I bring this template in, all this stuff is already programmed in so I don't have to worry about anything. It's right there for me to use. I have the drums sending to bus 10 automatically put on to send to the drum bus over here and I have the stereo compressor there. The most obvious thing to do with drums is to compress them parallel compression. On the bass as well, because sometimes I use more than one bass, I have the bass channel come in. Before I get away from the drums, I also tend to use the Logic Drummer in order to give me some percussion or some, you know, some actual, you know, fills and stuff like that. Okay, the next thing would be a bass, and the bass, I normally just have a, a channel EQ and a compressor, and if I want to do anything spectacular with it, I send it to the bass bus. Right, guitars, I generally don't do any bussing effects on the guitars or anything else. I usually print them straight to tape to the hard drive as it is here. On my vocal, a channel EQ, which is always in, and then I use the console EQ, which is basically Logic's Neve preamp. So I use that to smooth out the vocal. Great sounding plugin. The next thing I use is the BX SSL console. If I'm having trouble getting the sound I want just with the Neve EQ, I'll use this because I'm kind of used to the SSL stuff from years ago. Otherwise, I just leave it off. Then I have the Logic compressor. A vintage FET would be the first compressor that I use. So this one is the is, is designed after 1176. I use this to grab any of the peaks, any really high peaks that, that are hitting too hard, bring them in. And then I have a second compressor on, which is designed to sound like the LA-2A, which is a much slower compressor. So I use it just to slightly hold in the vocals a little bit. And the next thing I have is a Waves plugin, which is the Maserati. The presets are fantastic in it. I was able to get great sounds straight out. The Maserati sounds fantastic for echoes and that sort of thing. I put that on the main vocals. In the backup box, I have just a channel EQ. And everything else is basically sent. The 13 goes to the vo backup vocal bus. 14, which is my bus for the pianos, key bus over here. All the rest of the strings and the brass I sent a bus 15, which uh, I use adding some reverb or just EQing all together. If I have strings, woodwinds, and brass all coming in at the same time, I like to be able to EQ the entire lot in one go just to get them to kind of sit together better. Once you've got everything set up the way you like it, this is how I have mine set up. You go up to file here and you come down and you go save as template. You then just give it a title here because I already have a title. I will save as SG writing, save it and just replace. That's basically how I set up all my writing stuff. So if I get an idea for a song, I just go, oh, wow. If I have a crazy idea that I want to get done, I just hit my SG writing template and it comes up, all my colors are there as well, which I forgot to mention. And then I start everything from this template. All my colors are the same. Everything is the same from the start. So I know that when I get going, that I can just click myself down into wherever I want to go and I'm ready to rock straight away. If I go to the classic piano, and so all my sounds are right there and ready to rock. So people have been asking me how I did this, what I use. Logic Pro is the DAW. Comment down below, ring the bell, and I'm going to mail out this Now's the Time t-shirt. I have a randomizer program and I'll just randomize who gets it. Great to see you. I'll be back in another couple of days. Gonna be using this very template right here for a new song that I am doing with the Wild Atlantic Cabaret. They'll be coming out here on Friday. It is Wednesday now. So I should have that out by Sunday uh, with a whole new song with some rapping and some good stuff on it. Thank you very much and we'll see you later.